Hey everyone, it's Ian K for Peep This Out, back again with another one for you here in Lakewood, California at Costco to take a look at a brand new item that's currently in test on their food court menu. And as you can see, guys, it's a cheeseburger. And to be honest, I can't believe they waited this long to give this a shot. And this is not just any old cheeseburger. This one's a third pounder, which means it should be bringing some heftiness along with it. So this one's definitely going to be new for me, as I'm sure it'll be for most of you as well. So let's see what this one's all about. But like always, let's get right up on it first for that closer look. Let's peep this out. Here we go with Costco's currently in test third pound cheeseburger, guys. Have a look at this here. A very nice shiny brioche bun and a soft one, I might add as well. Let's pop the top on this one, see what we've got. Looks like a generous portion of a Thousand Island type sauce that does smell a little bit spicy. We've also got what looks to be a slice of cheddar cheese, the way it's melted there. But guys, there is the third pound beef patty. Organic beef, 100% all the way around here. As you can see, it is fairly thick and definitely looking to satisfy that appetite for sure. Let's lift it a little bit further underneath. We've got a nice large piece of leaf lettuce and what's normally a tomato slice that's supposed to be along with it. And underneath that, more of that Thousand Island type sauce here, guys. And of course, the bottom of the bun. But this is a very meaty looking, very thick looking burger, guys, for $4.99. Here you go. It's the currently in test third pound cheeseburger here at Costco. Let's peep out this flavor. Now this one's being called the Shake Shack Burger online, and I think that has something to do with the sauce that it's got on it, but we're definitely gonna find out. So let's go in on it. It's the third pound cheeseburger here at Costco. It's very thick. Wow, the meat is very thick on this, and I gotta be honest, it's a little on the dry side. Let's go in front of the bite. That is unbelievable. I am getting no flavor from the meat on this at all, and it is super dry on the inside. Wow, I am really shocked by this. There is no flavor whatsoever on the inside of this burger, guys. Aside from maybe a little bit of the sweetness from the sauce itself, the meat is very, very dry, as you can see right there. But again, no seasoning. It really doesn't taste like anything. I mean, I'm getting a light grilled flavor, and I do like the softness of the bun itself, but the meat itself, it feels like I'm just chewing and chewing and chewing, and there's just nothing that's jumping out at me. And forget about the cheese. I don't even taste that at all. I have no doubt that this is organic 100% USDA choice beef, guys, but there is just no moisture whatsoever. As you can see, this is really, really bad. And although I get what they're trying to go for here with that backyard barbecue type of feel to it there, I just really wish this just had some moisture in it. Yeah, I definitely don't want to eat any more of this, guys. Like I said, the softness of the bun is really good. The quality of it is good, as well as the crispness of the lettuce. I think that's done very well. But everything else on the inside, the cheese I can taste, and the sauce itself is not adding anything but a little bit of sweetness to the really, really dry meat pack on this and that's a shame because it's a third pound patty that should be a lot heartier in addition to being juicier and not just tough to eat one more shot on the inside of this one guys I'll give you the 360 view this one most definitely needs to be in the test market phase just a little bit longer just so they can work out the kinks on quality control because it needs to be a lot juicier than what you're getting here so what do you guys think I mean I'm really trying hard not to be overly harsh on this one but I do have to call it as it is but you let me know drop those comments down below and let me know if you think I'm either on or off base and as for the overall score on this third pound cheeseburger here at Costco it's gonna have to finish out with a lackluster. Four out of 10 for all the reasons that you just heard, guys. It really needs a shot in the flavor department as well as the juiciness department. Aside from the size being really, really good, it's just not very good in general. And those are my thoughts on this one as I close out this episode of Peep This Out, guys. Thanks so much for checking this one out. And like always, I've got content every single week here on my channel. So while you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon, in the meantime, stay frosty. Oh well, so much for the high hopes I had for this one, but that is the purpose of a test market, right? To get that feedback to see what can be improved, if any. I mean, this one does have potential. I just hope they keep plugging away on it until they get it right, at least in my opinion. All right, guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon.